Oh, 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 no. <laughs> One second. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Paramount. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what the fuck? So around 6 p.m. today, the leaked pictures of Sonic's final design for the Sonic movie was released, or leaked. And this happened while I was in a call with my friends having a good time, and here's the footage of that. Is that real? Live in a Hey, yeah, I literally couldn't tell if it was fan made or legit. I'm not joking, but it's finally time. It's time for us to get our questions answered and figure out what we can pull apart from this design. Now, first thing I can say right off the bat looking at this design is I am so thankful they did not give him a realistic hedgehog face. That was my number one point of concern because looking at the silhouette, the eyeball really still doesn't make sense. Even for the design we see now, why was his eye bulging out in the silhouette? It makes no sense. So I could put it at ease. We're not getting a realistic hedgehog face like that disaster right there. It is going to be semi cartoony, but let's still pull apart what we can with this design. So immediately off the bat, you can see that they separated his eyes, which I still don't like, nor do I understand. Again, they wanted to separate his eyes to make him more realistic to fit in the real world, but he's a blue fast talking hedgehog that runs at the speed of sound that attacks robots to save animals from an evil scientist. You want realism? All right, it makes sense. You guys are getting paid to do this, mind you. And what I want to also notice about the eyes is that they also gave him white fur in the middle to kind of give the illusion that he has one eyeball like he usually does. And I gotta say, if you're gonna give the illusion that he has something, why not give him that something? There's no reason to give him the illusion of one eye. Just give him one eye. Just make him look how he normally does. You guys are doing very unnecessary things right now. And I gotta say, <laughs> it, it, is, uh, it is good being a Sonic fan. Mm. But anyways, other than that, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't hate it. I don't hate the design. The face of the design. I don't hate it. I like the texture. I can kind of get down with the eyes over time. I like that the mouth is on the side in this and you know, the texture is fine, everything's fine. I like it. Now let's talk about the body. <laughs> first thing first that popped out to me was his hands. If you look closely, it looks like he's wearing his normal gloves, but he's not. Those hands are his regular hands just with white fur and they're disturbing as hell to look at. Why would you do this? What, what's the point? Why are you doing this? You're, I get it. I get you want to make it more realistic, but you're doing these unnecessary strides. Again, it pisses me off more because I look at Detective Pikachu and it looks great, but, oh man, okay, all right, all right, whatever. Then we got the chest. The chest is so large. And in comparison to his hand, his hand looks really tiny. It might be the perspective of this picture. I'm not sure, but, and he, he's, he's still thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, man. He's a, 
Why? 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 And we got this one, which... Ay, ay, caramba! Ay, 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 um... So, okay, what we can tell from this is that he still has his back spines and his tail. But his anatomy, again, I'm not really going to focus on the head because I already commented about that. But the body is so uncomfortable to look at. Like, what the hell? And, it, oh my god. Why isn't he wearing socks? Come on, where are the socks? If you gave him, if somebody edited in socks, I promise you this would look a lot better. It looks really weird with him not having socks. Another thing I want to notice is just how big the ring is. The, this ring, this pose kind of gives me vibes of, um, uh, of Sad AM, how big the ring was. It's kind of the same size it was in that show. Just like, you know, a good sized ring. Uh, so I guess that's somewhat... You know, I guess that's what we're going to be looking at for the movie is that they're going to be a good sized ring. They're not going to be tiny. Uh, so I guess there's that. And then we got this one. And I got to say, Paramount, uh, taking inspiration from Sonic 06, probably not the best idea. Um, this pose, in terms of Sonic looking directly at the camera, I know a lot of people say they like it. I never liked it. I didn't even like the 06 one. It really bothers me looking at Sonic at a face front view. Um, just, no, it's something about it is just kind of off for me. The, the way his head is, and I guess how it, how, where, why it's so weird to me, is look how big his head is, and look how small his eyes are. Again, it doesn't feel like Sonic, it feels like a person that's in a costume, trying to be Sonic as much as possible, but it's not Sonic, and it just looks disturbing, and again, this is the brand personality, again, this is all for branding and trying to get the movie, you know, to be like the same. It's This whole leak is about branding. They're trying to brand the character to companies so that way when they brand the toys or the merch that it's all advertised in the same way. So some of the things they said about the character is that he is irreverent, he's sarcastic, he's heroic, he's adventurous, confident, and competitive, chill and likable, mischief but not malicious. And honestly, they kind of got his character down, but again, I just, the, the, that design, it's, 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 it's throwing me off. It's throwing me for a loop, it really is. Now here comes the part that really, really pisses me off. So here they're gonna brand toward toys. Of course they're gonna do that. This movie's mainly for kids, so why not? So here's the first one we see. We see the Sonic pose from Smash Brothers, which again, th that doesn't look that bad, honestly. I guess because he's in motion in this picture, uh, but his hands, again, are so small and just give him socks or something. But this is the part that pisses me off. Look up there, then look down here. You see, you see the difference? You see, you seeing it? What? So you're telling me in the movie, he's going to look like this. But as a toy, he could look like this. You, you see the problem? There's no consistency here. Either you're all or nothing, Paramount. If you want him to look like this to make him look realistic, and you want to make toys based on this character, then why not make him look realistic in that one too? Or better yet, why change the character at all? Make him look like this in the movie and make toys that look like this. <laughs> Insane, right? Again, I'm trying so hard to look past the redesign, and I get it. I'm trying to give it my all, guys. I get it. The head, I'm fine with the head. The eyes, I guess over time, I could get used to it. But the body, something about the body is throwing me off. And again, I don't know. I feel like if I was a kid and I was seeing this design, I would genuinely be creeped out. Sonic looks so naked. Does that Because you made him look so human... You made me realize just how naked Sonic is. And you not giving him gloves and socks makes it even worse, honestly. He looks so bare and I just cannot, I can't take it. It just, it, it looks weird. It really does. Now it's time for the best reveal of them all. <laughs> so, so far we've seen Sonic in an artistic illustration of the design. Now let's get a real picture, a real leaked picture from the movie, real full CGI. Let's see what Sonic looks like. Here we go. <laughs> mm. 
No. No. I don't know what it is. Somewhere between the illustration and the CGI, something happened. And you can't deny that. Something got lost in translation here. The illustrations to me weren't the end of the world. They, I'm not going to say they're good, but they're not bad, right? Something about this pose, the way he looks... <sighs> I am afraid, genuinely, if a kid in the theater sees this, they're going to run out. Look at, look at the eyes. For some reason, the fade between the, the, the blue to white between the eyes is not really there anymore between the snout. So his eyes being separated is really apparent here. So there's not really an illusion that he has one eye anymore. The head is gigantic. Oh my God, Sonic. What? Sonic, your head is gigantic. Oh my God. Uh, he has a neck, um, which is weird. I've never seen Sonic with a neck before. His body is so big. I can't believe I'm seeing the day where Sonic's body is bigger than his head. Sonic's body is usually either for classic round or somewhat in a V shape for modern. This is so human. He's so human. Look at him. And can we talk about finally, because I know you guys are waiting for it, the thighs. His between the body, the thighs, and those, mm, the beautiful calves, by the way. His, something is just too human about this. He's too human. Why does he have realistic proportions it is so weird just seriously look at the design and just kind of try to take it in guys look oh, oh my god oh my god i'm in am i different am i in some sort of like alternate universe like that? that's what i feel like right now and if you guys haven't noticed already <laughs> look at the shoes <laughs> that's right nikes and back in my video a couple months ago i was right this boy this boy looks thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. And I got class in two hours and I have to go focus on my goddamn class. And I'm gonna be thinking about Sonic's goddamn thighs. What are those Nikes? Are those Nikes, my boy? What, you wear Nikes now, Sonic? What are those shoes? He's literally wearing Nikes. You gave him Nikes. I freaking called it. They were going to have some sort of a shoe brand deal. And you, I can guarantee you, they are going to make these shoes real. These are going to be a real release for the Sonic movie. And let me tell you, I'm totally going to buy them, actually. I'm a Sonic nerd. What do you expect? But seriously, it, it, again, this... This whole idea, and I knew they, why they didn't want to bring his original shoes back, was to do this. So they could get more money out of the movie, get some sort of shoe brand deal, and just sell like hotcakes. And my god, it just looks weird! Where are the socks? Why is his leg- his leg looks broken. Did you guys know- his leg looks broken. Did you guys notice that? The way his, again, the fact that he's not wearing gloves is so strange. His mouth is directly in the center and oh my God, what am I looking at? It's not Sonic. It's not Sonic, at least not right now because the pictures to me are so recent. And again, I will say this at the end of the day, the design, it's not good, but it's not bad. I said it, it's not good but it's not bad. I guess over time I could get used to it, but man, you guys really dropped the ball on his design and I'm really disappointed. You guys could have gave him his normal design that he has in the games and people would have adored it even more, but instead you guys wanted to do something foolish and whoever made this decision, honestly, they need to be fired because there was no reason to do this. You guys really did drop the ball this time. Really did. Uh, so, as again for the movie i'm just gonna turn off my brain i'm gonna watch it with some friends 
um, and I'm just gonna enjoy it. And I'm just, I just want to take in the insanity I'm about to see. And I can't wait to see Jim Carrey. Honestly, I'm pretty hyped for Jim Carrey as Robotnik. I'm not going to lie. So that's it, guys. This is all we can get right now until we see uh, some actual trailer footage. Maybe SXXW. I doubt it, but who knows? And yeah, guys. So if you guys couldn't tell by this video, it's my first time using a real camera. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the higher up quality. Uh, if it's it's it, it's all thanks to you guys, I'm able to get stuff like this to up the quality of my channel, um, and I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play will be continuing soon, along with my Smash Brothers Ultimate and some more streams in the future. My Discord is in the description. We have a great community there, um, and you know, as always, guys, I love you guys so much, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to for the new chapter. Uh, in my channel. Uh, so please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I upload. With all that said, this is Sam signing out. See you later, procrastinator.